All right, now continue from where we stopped in the previous lecture. So what we're going to do right now is that I want to, remember we started the project directly from the GitHub site. Okay, so keep that in mind that we initially started this project from the GitHub site. Then now moving all these files to, to my local machine, maybe to Visual Studio Code, but specifically, I'm focusing this tutorial on using the command line, okay? So I will be using the Ubuntu terminal. So that's what I'll be working with. So I would like to move my GitHub site into my terminal. So this, that is what this particular video will be all about now. But before I do that, I'd like to explain certain commands of GitHub in the terminal. So there are some Git commands there are actually many, so these are the few which I feel we will most likely be using often. All right. So the first one is the git clone. So git, what git clone does is that it brings a repository from the GitHub site to your local machine. Okay, just like cloning both of them. And mind you, both of them is, must have the same repo name, repository name. Like for example, now the repository name of this is test repo test dash repo okay exactly the way i wrote it this way the same way i must write it in my terminal all right so keep that at the back of your mind that's exactly how you are going to write it in your terminal also all right and whatever way you name your repo the same way you are going to name it in your terminal so that's the first thing just for me to clone both of them together then there's something called git status so what is this git status does that it lets you see the changes you've made while you are making some changes in your codes in your local machine, maybe you are making changes to your HTML, and you want to know if there are changes, then you have to commit to those changes. All right, so it lets you know files that are tracked and files that are not tracked. So it will show a red label color to show that um, there are files that are not tracked. Why it will show a green color to show that it has been tracked. You will get to understand this when we start using the command. Um, Ubuntu terminal, all right. So there's also something called the git add. So this is what makes our files tracked, okay. So if you say git add, it tracks your files. So the git start is just for you to know if those files are tracked or not tracked, okay. So if they are not tracked, for you to track those files, then you have to do git add, all right. So that's what you are going to do next. So after you've done git add, the next step to take is your git commits. That is to save those files, all right. Then the last move will be most likely to push it to your GitHub website, which is the Git push. So also there's something called the Git pull. Okay, so the Git pull is just like pulling out stuff from the GitHub site to your terminal. So pulling out any changes you made directly from the GitHub site, then you want to push it, pull pull it inside your terminal or pull it inside your local machine or your visual studio code it depends on what you are using as your code editor right so for since i'm focusing on the ubuntu terminal that means my everything i'll be doing will be based on ubuntu terminal so i won't be using visual studio code all right so there are actually text editors in ubuntu just like emacs and vi right so that's what i can choose to use as my editor inside the ubuntu so there's also something called the git branch. So we've talked about this branch the other time. We are in the main branch in this one. This is the branch here. We are in the main branch, the default branch. So you can actually create multiple branches. So the essence of this of creating branch is just for you to test some new stuff, like play around with some new upgrades you may want to do to your project. Then if you like those upgrades, then you can choose to merge it into your main branch which is the git merge so once you can once you've merged it into your git your main branch you can now git push or, or you can choose to even git push directly from if you are working remotely with different developers on your github site so what once you are in that your other branch where you are using to test so if you git push that one to send to send to the GitHub and your team will see what you git push. So everybody will review the work. And if they see that it tallies and it makes sense, they will, everybody will accept and it to then upgrade itself in the GitHub sites in the major main branch. All right. So the git checkout is a command that switch between branches. 
So for example, if you have one branch called you have the normal branch, default branch called the main branch. So you can have another branch called another name. So if you want to switch in between them, that's when you use the git checkout command. All right, so there are actually many more. We can't just start talking about them, but I think you will get to understand them better when we start practicalizing each of them in our work. All right, so let's start the tax for, for this video. Okay, so now let's look at how to clone this repo in our Ubuntu or Sandbox terminal. All right, so I'm going to my Ubuntu now. I think I'm in my root directory and I would like to go to my own directory. Don't forget, you really need to know shell navigation. So shell navigation is very, very important. I you can check my video, my previous video. I will, I will put the link down in the description. So you need to visit shell navigation if you know you don't know shell navigation unless you have problems with GitHub. All right. So I'm in my own directory right now. Okay. So now I want to clone this stuff. Mind you, remember that we started this GitHub from the site. We started this project from the site. So since we started this project from the site, then for us to link it to our local machine, which this time around I'm focusing on Ubuntu. Okay, I'm using Ubuntu for my local work. You can also use um, Visual Studio Code or whatever. Okay, but I'm dedicating this um, video to focus more on using the terminal to do these projects. All right, just so you can get more familiarity on the interface and how to use and to work around with it. All right, so that is it. So I would like to clone this whole repository which is test repo in my terminal so how am i going to do that so i'll just do that with a simple command which is this first command here the git clone okay so i'm going to do git clone so i'll go to my terminal type git clone then i'm going to put the remote link so the remote link of what i'm what i want to clone and i'll find that link in this code button so you click on this code button, you can see it should clone here. So you just wait to copy your HTTPS link. Remember, we're in the HTTPS tab. Then copy this link. Go to your terminal. And for Ubuntu, you just need to right click to paste. Okay. While some other terminal, you may need to hold your control button. Then click on AV. It will paste for you. All right. So it's my enter key. So it has successfully cloned. Let me do ls now. You can see we have the test repo in there. I say cd test repo enter. You can see all the files that are inside the repository are the same thing that are inside my terminal. So the readme file, the index.html, exactly the same thing. And the contents are what are being cloned inside my terminal now. We can choose to confirm that. So let me say cat read me. You can see exactly the same thing that is inside this site that to create it. That's what is showing here. Same with the cat index touch HTML. Mind you, you know, we're just testing this HTML. So this is not really the way an HTML code is just for tutorial purpose. Just that's why I just wrote some random text. All right. So I guess you understand the major focus on this lecture. You've understand, you've understood how to clone. So that's how to clone whenever you are working on a project. So whenever you want to start a new project, always remember to clone it. Okay. Even if it's an empty project, okay, which we are still going to look at later. So I will soon delete this whole project and we're going to start a afresh in the next tutorial. We're going to do a solid major way of how to go around merging i mean using your terminal and using the and using the github site itself all right in a more professional way so that's what i'm going to look at in the next video as for this sake i believe this is well explained and no much difficulty in this aspect so see you in the next lecture